thank you for checking out my channel. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload. How's it going guys? Manny Tingles here. Uh, I am back with another video. I am so glad that you are here and uh, I'm happy to be here as well. Um, so I'm going to get right into this video. Uh, as you can tell from the title, it is an ASMR tag, uh, which basically means um, I was tagged by an ASMRist to do this video, and uh, it's a 15 question, basically a Q&A, and then I go on and tag more ASMRists to do this video, and it's just kind of like playing video tag. <laughs> So I was tagged by um, Sophie Michelle ASMR, who is uh, lovely and has an amazing channel. So if you um, don't know about her yet or you are not subscribed to her, please do so uh, because she is amazing. And uh, I put a link to the video that she tagged me in below. And so, um, yeah, I was very excited when she did that because I'm a huge fan of her so anyway shouts to Sophie Michelle ASMR uh, so I guess I will start this video by uh, tagging the ASMRs that I would like to continue this um, video tag with so I have uh, six I'm gonna call out six I think Sophie did five um, and so I don't really know the rules of this so <laughs> if uh, six is too much then I apologize okay so uh, the first person I'm going to tag is uh, little dove ASMR um, yeah she's great <laughs> uh, uh, and then the next one I'm going to tag is uh, Lily whispers ASMR and then I'm going to tag uh, dosage of tingles ASMR and then I'm going to tag uh, bohemian 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 whisper ASMR and then cat plant ASMR and then last but not least I am tagging Raffi Davi ASMR in this video so if any of you guys see this and feel like you want to continue this tag um, please do so so uh, I am a huge fan of all of yours and it would be an honor for you to continue this tag just like I am so uh, if not then you don't <laughs> it's all good but uh, those are six people that I really really love and I think have amazing channels so please check them out and subscribe um, I have links for all of them in the description below so um, yeah, anyway, this is basically just a, a whispered um, Q&A, uh, but everyone is answering the same questions, which makes it kind of cool because then you can, you know, listen to someone you really like and then listen to someone else and kind of compare their answers, I guess. But anyway, this is uh, Maddie Tingles continuing the ASMR tag. I should probably add uh, the fact that I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, this um, ASMR tag was started by Emmy Perks ASMR, um, and I will put her channel in the, in the description as well, but um, I believe it was started by her, so there's that. <laughs> So 
characters, and I don't know which one came chronologically first. Um, but both of them were from movies, actually. Um, and I'm just gonna exclude the, the haircut thing, because I think that's, like, the most common place that people experienced it. And I, for sure, used to get crazy chills while getting a haircut. Always. Always. Um, but besides that, <laughs> there was two movies... Um, and two specific scenes that I got uh, crazy ASMR from. And uh, the first one, again, I don't know which one came out first, but the first one was uh, Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2. Yeah, Toy Story 2. Um, when uh, the old guy is fixing Woody back up, and uh, it seems like that's kind of a... Um, like, that, a lot of people felt that because there's actually a video someone made of just that scene um, as an ASMR video, so. Uh, but there's just a lot of amazing external noises, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll link that video, too, but uh, that used to, like, put me to sleep. I used to just watch that on loop. Um, and then the other one, this is going to sound really weird, but... Um, <laughs> The, uh, the Flintstones movie with John Goodman uh, <laughs> and I believe Rick Moranis. Uh, there's a scene where Halle Berry is in it and she's talking really, really, really softly uh, in the office. And I used to rewind that all the time because for some reason her voice um, just relaxed me a lot. And I remember when I was really, really young, just watching that and then rewinding it because it was on VHS and rewinding it and watching it again and rewinding it and then eventually falling asleep. So, uh, yeah, that's that's as far back as I can think besides um, the haircut thing. So, yeah. Okay, number three is um, when slash how did you first discover ASMR videos on YouTube? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't necessarily remember how. Um, but I want to say that it was because of that Halle Berry scene. I was probably searching like whispered talking or something like that. Um, and then came across uh, the ASMR community and it was like a door had been opened. It was like, oh, okay, so I'm not the only person that this happens to. And other people are like this. And there's actually a name for it. And it was like, life-changing. Um, which brings us to number four, which is what was the first ASMR video you saw. And uh, the first ASMR video I ever saw was the Librarian Roleplay by Amal. I want to say it was almost seven years ago now, seven or eight years ago, and yeah, I remember clicking on it and being like, oh, what, what is happening here, but then she started talking, and uh, her voice was really soft, and she was like talking to me, and I was really weirded out, but at the same time, like, I was like, this is the greatest thing in the world, because I love this feeling, but I didn't know how to harness it, or that people had ever harnessed it before in video form, so, um, anyway, yeah, it was the Librarian Roleplay by Amal. Okay, so number five is, uh, what video did you fall asleep to last night? Uh, so I have, like, a playlist of maybe 10 or 15 videos that are, like, my go-to, um, that I really love, uh, that work all the time, uh, but, um, last night's, um, and I think this is on the play playlist, actually, but, uh, one of my go-tos is one of GB's videos, which is, um, it's the black and white one, where she's doing, uh, it's whispered, and then, like, hand movements, um, so she's doing, like, that stuff, um, it's, yeah, amazing, it always, uh, always gets me, <laughs> uh, shouts to GB, she's, um, amazing, and, uh, she just passed 700,000 subscribers, which is, uh, uh crazy, <laughs> so, um, anyway, yeah, shouts to GB, but that was the last, uh, 
post a video I fell asleep to last night. Um, yeah, so number six is what are your favorite triggers? Um, okay, so I have a few.
this this could go forever i, I i've been very vocal about uh, in past videos about a lot of asm artists that i love um there's no way that i'll remember all of them off the top of my head so uh I'll, i mean i'll name a few i really love um frivy i love uh, frivolous fox um nearly every video that she does i love and i'm excited for uh, i mean obviously gb obviously um you know gentle whispering i love um even though neither of them are ex that active anymore um and i i believe that they will make a comeback uh that will But, um, anytime Heather Feather uploads anything, and anytime ASMR requests uploads anything, I'm in. I'm automatically, um, in. <laughs> uh, who else? Creative Calm, um, is amazing, and she, uh, that's, that's a trigger. I should have said that. I think it's number, uh. Six. It was the uh, what are your favorite triggers? I should say, um, whispering with a uh, a British accent. <laughs> um, yeah, Creative Calm. It does is is one of my favorite voices, um, and especially because of her accent, it's the best. So, anyway, there's a ton. Like I'm, I'm of course missing a bunch of people, but um, I there's not really any any um asm artists that i don't like like there's a few that um maybe i don't really watch that much or that um i don't know that i uh, have been um you know like disrespectful before to um you know my friends in the community or in, or something like that that i don't really um watch or support but like there's maybe two, I'm, I'm obviously not gonna mention names or anything, but for the most part, I like everybody, <laughs> so, um, I like to have a, a good, uh, variety, okay, uh, number 10, what are your favorite role plays to watch, um, that's a good question, I, um, I, I really like just normal trigger videos, those are my favorite, um, as far as role plays, anything ASMR Request has ever done, um, <laughs> uh, I really like any sort of role play with, uh, like writing or like sketching pencil noises, so I guess like sketching you videos I really like, um, cause I love that sound, um, Heather Feather might have my favorite role play, uh, well, no, my favorite role play is the Departure series that, that Asmar Quest did. Um, and she has a bunch of role plays that are just unbelievable. Um, the other, I always go back to her Tooth Fairy one, too. It's amazing. But Heather does a tattoo um, role play, a tattoo artist role play. And she does uh, a lot of tracing and sketching sounds. And it's, uh, yeah, that might be in my top, like, five Asmar videos of all time. <laughs> um, but I'm really, I'm always interested in role plays because people are so creative now. Um, there's always something new that hasn't been done. And then if it's been done, you know, we, we all put a, our, our own twist on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm open to almost, almost, uh, almost everything. <laughs> uh, okay. Number 11 is what's your favorite video or role play you've made? video or role play you've made um good question i'm gonna say uh i really really enjoy doing the apple store role plays um obviously the shoe ones i i love doing because that's um you know right up my right up my alley of things that i like um I really like doing the water videos because uh, uh, they're 
were fun to make, but I always make a mess. Okay, I think my favorite video that I've ever made. Um, that's really tough. I might go the, uh, honestly, the sketching you video because the way that that came together, I planned on making, um, you know, a sketching you video. And, uh, you know, I had a bunch of ASM artists in a book. If you haven't seen it yet, I, I had photos and uh, I can't draw people. So, um, sorry if this is a spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, but uh, I, you know, digitally turned them into a sketch. And then they were in a, a book of, um, you know, like my past work. And that's all I was going to do. And uh, just part of my process, I never write a script for anything. And so every video you've ever seen is kind of just off the top. And then, you know, um, I, I, uh, I, I usually come up with the best stuff just um, as I'm going. And so I think the biggest, you know, the sketching you video is the, my most viewed video. It's almost, it's like almost to a million views, which is insane. But I think part of it was because of the huge reveal at the end where <laughs> I end up showing you that I was the whole time sketching Bob Ross. Um, and, uh, that was an idea that came to me like minutes left in the video and I was like okay I need to have an ending to this and then it hit me that how funny would it be if I was um sketching Bob Ross so um I love that was like magic to me that was like okay everything lined up and it, everything worked out um and uh yeah that that's that might be my favorite one um I don't really dislike any of the videos I've ever made honestly um I still really enjoy making videos. I'm, uh, I'm a creator, and so um, if I wasn't doing this, I'd be creating something else. So, um, the, the the creative process is what I am in love with, and I'm still enjoying doing this. And I think that the day that this becomes or starts to feel like a job or an obligation um, is the day that um, I I will either. Um, stop making ASMR videos or uh, completely reevaluate and uh, revamp the way I do everything. But I'm nowhere near that. I'm, I still really enjoy this. So. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Uh, number 12. What made you start an ASMR channel? Um, I think um, I... So if you don't know this... Uh, about me, I was a recording artist for about eight years, nine years before I started this channel. And so, you know, obviously that's completely different from what I do here. But the process for me was kind of the same. Again, I, I'm a creator, so I love creating things and I have to create something every day. And so, um, being a fan of ASMR for, you know, like seven or eight years now, uh, I remember one night I just was sitting here and I was like, I was watching someone, um, and I remember thinking like, I should just try this, like I have nothing to lose and who knows what would happen, <laughs> and so, uh, I didn't have a Yeti, I had a, um, I want to say it was an MXL, it was like a $1,500 microphone, it's the one I used in the studio that I, um, owned, and so I used that, which it wasn't stereo at all, um, but, uh, I used that, and I just talked, and I, uh, the video's still on my channel, it's like the introduction video, um, but what made me do it is just the ambition, I think I'm always trying to do anything creative and uh it got to a point where i was like i watching people and i was like i i think i could do this so um i went for it <laughs> but um i i would just say to answer the question what made you start an asmr channel was uh ambition and um you know i i love the 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 community and the what and what it is so um i i uh did it uh, okay, number 13 is, uh, what camera slash mic do you use? So, uh, for microphone, um, I use the, uh, Blue Yeti. Um, this
this is my second one actually so this one's um i had the normal silver one and that stopped working and so um i hope this doesn't make too much noise but um that one broke and so i went and got the navy blue sorry if this is loud but i got the the navy blue one um and there's nothing really different in it except for just a cool color but um yeah so i used the yeti um i have the um the binaural head rack mic as well but i'm still kind of learning that um and then uh as far as camera uh, I go back and forth between two or three different cameras, um, and actually, uh, I hate to give this away because people never believe me when I say this, but, um, right now for this video, I'm actually using my phone. Um, it's just way faster sometimes for me, um, but besides my phone, um, I have a, um, Nikon D3300, and then, um, I used to have a uh, Canon uh, 5D, um, but uh, I, I've, I sold the Canon, and so I still have the Nikon, but I don't know, I just, um, if I can make it look good like this, like I think that looks really good for um, an iPhone, um, I use um, I use both, but uh, I don't like telling people that because you can't really tell a difference, and I like that people have never commented oh this looks like it was filmed on something like um if you know how to light things uh these new phones are amazing cameras so um anyway and then i'm saving up for uh to get a uh sony rx 100 uh v or 5 whatever it is uh so I'll use that a lot um, for this channel as well. And then obviously I'm starting, a, if you don't know yet, I'm starting a second channel, um, which will be a vlog, uh, a vlog channel uh, of uh, just going in doing cool things and reaction videos and just anything that I want. It'll be kind of a variety channel. But uh, the, the Sony RX105 uh, or V um, is an amazing mirrorless camera with the flip up screen so you can see yourself. It's um, most of the vloggers that I know and are friends with use that. So um, I am um, getting that very soon. Uh, and then uh, it's not on here, but um, I use uh, a MacBook and I use um, Logic to record the audio. And then I use Final Cut Pro to do the um, the video editing. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of lights and a backdrop and, and all of that stuff. Um, maybe someday I'll start putting the in the description all the um, equipment I use. That's a good idea. Okay, next. Uh, I think there's two more. So, 14 is um, how slash when do you get... Um, IRL ASMR, which is, um, in real life. Um, look at me just knowing abbreviations. Oh, little Dove would be proud. She always makes fun of me because I don't know all of the abbreviations. <laughs> um, okay, how slash when do you get in real life ASMR? Okay, um, obviously in real life when I'm watching ASMR. Um, haircuts. And this is, this may sound really weird. And, uh. This is actually amazing timing because Sophie just put this video up tagging me like six hours ago and I was planning on making a video tonight and then this came up and I was like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do this. And then I saw this question and um, I was going to talk about this in, in the video I was going to make, but anyway, um, I got uh, crazy ASMR the other day in the car wash. <laughs> And I know that sounds crazy, but it was super binaural to me. And because, like, uh, I drove in and then the soap falls down like this. And it was like a, you know, a movement. And then, like, the spinny things. One went by on the right and, you know, like, made the window tapping noise. And then on the left. And then the big, like, octopus things came down. And then it just repeated over and over. And, um... I don't know, I got like a submersive all around experience at, at uh, the car wash, so uh, if any ASMR
ASM artist wants to go in on a uh, an ASMR car wash uh, and wants to invest with me. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, last one. Number 15. Do you give yourself ASMR when you make slash edit your videos? Um, no, not really. Eh, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think most people do. Maybe, th maybe they do. I don't know, but I don't know. It's, it's like when I'm editing my videos, I'm so meticulous with editing that like I hardly ever hear a whole sentence because I'm making sure everything's lined up and everything. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe if it was like a sounds video, maybe the water videos truly once, um, once I put a video up, I hardly ever watch myself to be honest so um when uh the most i watch myself would be when i'm editing and again it's um you know it's chopped up so um no the answer is no do you give yourself asmr when you make slash edit your videos the answer is no for me um but i'd be curious to see what other people think because that'd be that'd be very interesting um anyway that's gonna do it that is the asmr tag um Again, I am tagging in this video, Little Dove ASMR, Lily Whispers ASMR, uh, Dosage of Tingles ASMR, Bohemian Whisper ASMR, Cat Plant ASMR, and Raffy Daffy ASMR. So, um, yeah, if any of you guys want to do this video, and uh, do this tag awesome if not i still love you guys and uh, you all uh inspire me so um anyway thank you to uh sophie michelle asmr so much for uh tagging me in this um asmr tag this was really fun and sometimes it's really nice to just do a video where you just sit down and talk i think uh, i put a lot of pressure on myself to you know, come up with amazing ideas and be doing a bunch of stuff, but sometimes it's really refreshing to just sit and talk to you guys, so, um, anyway, uh, once again, Little Dove, ASMR, Lily Whispers, ASMR, Dosage of Dingles, ASMR, Bohemian Whisper, ASMR, Cat Plant, Cat Plant, Cat Plant, Cat Plant, Cat Plant, ASMR, and Ravi Daffy, ASMR, uh, those are who I'm tagging. Once again, thank you to uh, Sophie Michelle for attacking me. And uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Um, I have some amazing videos coming up. I'm really excited to get out to you guys. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like. Uh, it really helps me out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I am Maddie Tinkles. I will see you guys next. <laughs>